Welcome back. This is lesson number two in our beginner rhythm and counting series. A wonderful course for you and everybody who are trying to learn, understand how to play and read and sing or anything to do with music. It is for you and this course will get you just skyrocketing to an unbelievable level before you know it. I promise it's worked with thousands of students of mine over the years. I've used this exact course for over a decade and I've honed it down for you because it's been a constant work in progress as we work through everything in rhythm and counting. Now, if you're wondering where to get this and what this is, you can find it on my website, which is proteanman.com. Here's Protean Man right there. And up here is the address for this exact thing, which is proteanman.com slash music dash education. And you can find everything you need here for this course. If you want to hover over courses, there's more as well, including some design and manufacturing courses, which I work with on the side. Now, if you click on the image right here for the beginner course, you'll find this exact page. It might look a bit different, but it's still the same thing. And you can find the example page. You can download this first page, which is the very first part of the course. And you can use it with the first video, lesson number one, which is in the playlist attached on YouTube. If you don't know where to go for that, you can actually just click this video lessons button. It takes you directly to the playlist for the beginner playlist for the intermediate and playlist for the advanced courses when they come out very soon for me. Maybe they're already out for you. Who knows? In the meantime, it's a wonderful course. And trust me, if you're a teacher, if you're a student, especially if you're a teacher using this with your entire class, you can send them home with these videos to do it at home for homework. And it just sort of saves you time. It's a wonderful thing. And I go through every single aspect. You can pick and choose whatever you like. Whatever works for you, it's all here, and I hope to hear from you very soon, which is the last thing I'll mention. It's this thing right here. Have a question, a comment, an idea. Just let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can in the most helpful way I possibly can. And if you have anything else, just contact me button right there. That's it. So here we go. We have... Level 1.1, which your sheet should also say 1.1. Let me just show you at the top. It should say counting exercises. This is the first one, number one. So that's 1.0 technically, but the second one says 1.1. And that's what you are on. Now, before we get going, we have a few rules, important rules to go over. Number one being show each beat pulse. You can call it whatever you want. I call it a beat. You call it a pulse. They call it the weight. doesn't matter. It's the same thing in the end. And you must show me that. Number two being only show as needed. Two things with this, which is why it's also number two. Kind of a play on the number. We have to show only what's needed being don't overcomplicate the music. You don't need to put a symbol where there is nothing there. Also, you should put something if there is a note or a rest or a symbol. It should show me something. Number three being write clearly and concisely. This is mostly for me. Maybe it's for you, but I write large, kind of flowy. So I hope that you can do the same thing. It just makes it a lot easier to understand what everyone is counting and reading and, and doing with the music. So here we go. We are going to pull up sheet 1.1. These are the first four lines. There's seven in total. Now what's going to happen is I will count out loud and I will write out the counting for you. And your job is to make sure you have the correct answers as me. You're not copying from me. So if we're on number one, I complete this. You've already finished it. And this is where I say, pause the video, come back later, finish this whole page on your own. You've printed it out from the package you've downloaded from my site. All the fun stuff. Your teacher gave it to you. Whatever the case is, finish the whole page. You're going to come back and check your answers. If you don't know what you're talking about or what you're doing with this, Go back and watch the first video, lesson number one, because this is really not much different. It's just a little bit more of a mix and mash of rhythm styles. So here we go. You finished the entire sheet. We're going to count this together. Number one, we have one, two, and three, four, and. There's the bar line, so I put a one because it resets every single bar line. Two, and, three, Four and 
here's the bar line, so put a one, and two, three, four. There's the bar line, comes a one, and two, three, and four. I hope you're writing a lot nicer than I am. One, two, and three, four, and. Now, if this is already confusing for you, you need to go back and watch the first video. There's no point in going forward if this is, makes no sense for you. If you know what I'm talking about, why I'm putting plus signs, then you are already on the right video, and just keep going with me. It's going to work out really well. Next up is the other half of it, because counting it is only half of the story. We have to clap and play this rhythm to understand it, because that's what counting is for. It's for you actually making a lot more sense with these rhythms. So I'm going to pull up a quick little camera here with my hands underneath. You can see my hands and I can clap, I can do everything. And you're going to copy me exactly as we go through this rhythm. I'm going to count out loud. You're going to hear a metronome as well. And that click is each beat. So just to put it into perspective, we have one, two, three, four, one, two, and that is each click on the metronome. And it's at 72 beats per minute. I'm talking quite a bit, so let's get right back into it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and. And we're done. Now, if that made zero sense to you, why we're doing these things the way we're doing them. Just look at a few things. This tick, the metronome that you're hearing, is each and every single beat, the numbers. So it lines up. One, two, three, four, and it doesn't stop. Two, three, four. Even if I'm talking over top of it, it's still going. So it's steady, doesn't slow down, doesn't speed up. That's the first most important thing when you're counting, popping, and playing the rhythms. The next thing is these ands and everything in between that you'll see in the future are kind of falling evenly between each beat. So this is halfway between two and three, and I would have one, two, and three. Two, three, two, three. They're steady, they are always there, and the and just falls between. So that's sort of a quick explanation. The second thing, is if I turn that off is we have the counting and the notes each individual note all lined up there's no extra ands where there's nothing above right here so that's a good thing to have that's also part of rule number two so this makes it easy because I can also take away your actual notes and you're left with the counting and you can say one two and three, four and one, two and three, four and. It's still there because there's nothing here and it tells me this is a whole beat. There's no and beside it. There's an and after the two, so that's an eighth note, that's an eighth note, quarter, eighth, eighth, and so on. So it's all meant to make sense. It's all meant to make a lot more sense when you go back and forth and whatever you want to do with the rhythms and music. In this way, counting becomes so much easier. And I've seen people put ands where there is no notes. It's fine. If it works for you, do it. For me, students, I make sure we understand how it works before you go ahead and just put stuff where there's nothing there. All right, here we go. Number two. We'll go a bit faster now. Less talking in between. One and two and three, four and. One and two, three and four and one and two and three four and one and two three and four and one and two and three four and now this might be a bit fast for you who knows you should have already done this anyway so you're just checking your answers next step we are going to clap and count number two So here we go. You're going to clap and count with me again, copying me exactly. One, two, three, four. 
one and two and three, four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three, four and. We're done. Now you might be slightly off the metronome. I am sometimes. It just happens. Don't worry. But there's a little trick I tell my students that is if you're clapping again with the metronome, if the metronome is a proper one, it's not too loud, the volume's turned down, just to just to enough so you can hear it, then you actually won't hear the metronome if you're exactly with it. And it's kind of a scary thing sometimes, but it's a wonderful thing to do. It really test your counting and clapping abilities because when you don't hear the metronome, that means you're correct. But when you do hear the metronome, it's not correct. So do it on your own. It doesn't work with the whole class together. That's basically it. Number three. One and two, three, four and. There's the bar line. One, two, and three, and four. There's the bar line. One and two, three, four, and one and two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four. I'm sure it's already getting easy. This one's a little bit off. I might want to fix this if I was being a little bit more particular with this. Let me see if I can fix those two. Right, line it up nice and neat, and that way it makes a lot more sense to everybody, especially when you're going fast, because it can get confusing before you know it. All right, next up, number three. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One and two, three, four and one, two and three and four. One and two, three, four and one and two, three, four and one, two and three and four. Done. Easy, right? If you have trouble with that, you can always pause the video. You can always go back and practice or just repeat this one part over and over and over again. Number four, last one on the first section. We have one and two and three and four and one, two, three and four, one and two and three and four and one, two and three, four, one and two and three and four. I kind of said this one like it has more after that. I kind of hear that in newscasters sometimes where they say their sentences in certain ways where it seems like something more is coming. Here we go. Metronome up. Number four, our very last one, and then we're moving on to the last three lines. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one, two, three and four. One and two and three and four and one, two and three, four. One and two and three and four. This one had a ton of eighth notes. Kind of easy having a steady stream of eighth notes because you can just find that groove and just get right into it. Okay. Off and off and now we have the last section. Here we go with number five. One, two, and three, four, and. There's the bar line. One, and, two, three, four, and. There's the bar line. One, two, and, three, four, and. One, and, two. That one is really far down. Three, four, and. One and two, three and four and all finished. It's going fast now, isn't it? Here we go. Number five. One, two, ready, go. One, two and three, 
four and one and two, three, four and one, two and three, four and one and two, three, four and one and two, three and four and. I was a little bit off with the metronome at the end there. That's okay. We are not performing right now, so don't worry. Number six. Two more. One, two, and three, and four, and bar line. One, and two, and three, and four. I'm going to fix that. Sometimes my little writing pad kind of lags out on four. It's that curve for some reason. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. Again, lag. One, two, and three, four. Okay. Move that. Number six, counting and clapping with me. Do your best. You can always rewind and do it over and over again. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Makes sense. I hope it does. If it doesn't, you just keep redoing it. It will work. Or just ask me a question, leave a comment below, whatever you need. Number seven, one and two, three and four, one, two and three and four, one and two and three, four and one and two, three, four. Last bar, one and two, three and four. Here we go, number seven, counting and clapping. One, two, ready, go. One and two, three and four. One, two and three and four. One and two and three, four and one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. I think that was, was one of my best. I barely heard the metronome almost the entire way through. And that tells me I was spot on. That's the test. You don't hear the metronome? You can hear it now, but while you're clapping, if you don't hear it, you are exactly with it. That is your goal. Okay, that's it. We're done 1.1. Next up is lesson 1.2, and then 1.3, and 1.4, and then we're done with level 1. Thanks for, so much for watching. Again, any questions, leave a comment below. You can go to my website and leave me a question there. It's all open. I want to answer everybody's questions as best as I can because it's great to build this kind of community and this wonderful learning in with music and everything else. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.